Hey guys, what's up? It's Rich here. I commentate one of my teammates' gameplay. I price chopper. Uh, MLG Team Slayer on countdown. He rushes balcony here. I don't know if I go balcony at the very beginning. I'll probably try to find another way around. Get an eye on rockets or sniper. How about the team get some power control? Any power weapon control in the beginning of any game is actually really good. He rushes there three. It's good that he got to their side fast. Kind of sits up here. I'd probably run around a little bit more, try to help out, find some people, get some call outs in instead of just sitting here for a while. He sits here for a little bit too long, it seems like, and he just can't get any call outs in, any shots in, any, any team shot in. But we start off really good. We get a 6 to, six to 2 start, and I'm pretty sure we got Rockets and Sniper. Uh, he decides to leave, but it looks like he just barely missed seeing a guy. Nice, it's pretty nice cleanup right there. Uh, he sees a guy getting shot up there. Starts getting shot in the back. He goes back up for top control, which is really good. Top control in this game is just... It's unbelievable. If you can have top control, you can pretty much have map control. You map control, you control the whole game. Pretty much in every other game, but this game it just seems to be a lot more. He sees his teammates aren't, are, aren't quite around him yet, so he's just throwing some maze, trying to buy a little bit of time to help get some teammates in there. Uh, Sane came in and helped him out. He got price cleaning it up himself though and then he goes to help out saying uh, he rushes back in here to clean up the kill the guy right here didn't seem like he was dying but very nice shots here by Price unfortunate uh, nice name by them they just got a lucky spawn and they came right back after you guys and they just they got a really nice nade on you nothing going to do with the powerful as the grenades are in this game you're holding nice nade. You're holding top control, which is really good. Trying to keep them forced in their spawn. Uh, looks like a little bit of a wasted couple's bullets of the sniper. Probably, you know, maybe one or two shots most to take at that. But you know, try to hold as much sniper as possible. Helps with the map control and everything. Are you you getting? No, it's just different. Going back up top of the sniper, it's always good. If you, especially if you can get the sniper up at the three or just anywhere, it's always good to have that. Helps out a lot with everything. You can see a whole, whole lot of the map from just up top. Uh, Rich and a guy killed killed each other. You go down and pick up the sniper. You start getting shot in the back. It's good that you go up top again though. You got right here is probably the most. It's very vulnerable, but it's also one of the most powerful spots. I like how you sit right there. You were looking at multiple areas. Instead of just waiting for a guy to come up lift. Nice kill with that nader back there. But, you know, you didn't sit there and watch the lift. To hope, hopefully watch, hopefully that guy will come. You know, you sat there and you were looking around, seeing if anybody else needed help. Would have noticed times. Rockets just came up. That's a good idea. You switch with Sane. He takes uh, snipers. Having a uh, sniper and rockets, it's never really a good thing unless you absolutely have to. You know, you always want to have a DMR in case you make a guy one shot and you just run out of ammo with it or something. Kind of a random rocket right there. Try to keep as many rockets as possible, you know. Random rockets don't really help out a lot. You could have an extra rocket and everything. Right there, it's, that's actually a really good rocket, I believe. Uh, they were in a DMR battle and you, anything can happen in a DMR battle. The person get out dmr or anything. So it's always good to at least get one kill, even if you're just trading the kill. And, and if you're up, it's always good. You start getting shot in, from above here, and you throw a nade. It's, it's actually a really good grenade, because most of the time people will chase, especially in reach. I found that. It's in the sprint factor now. They're always maintaining top control, which is really good. You always try to keep control of a van or their three. You like the catwalk, I see, which is also good. Like I said earlier, it's, it's just a good way to see almost all parts of the map. Right there, I don't know if that was a bad jump or not but probably never drop down to their one, especially if you're at the three. Uh, getting Just losing top control, you know, everything could go bad with that, especially if no other teammates there to help you out and you drop all the way down and the other team just gets a nice spawn. Couple missed shots there and you go for the beat down you miss, but overall, overall, you know, that's a good DMR afterwards. Nice killing frenzy. You're doing a really good job of just staying alive too. It's always good to just stay alive at you know, stupid deaths never really help out anyone. Unfortunate right there. You just didn't know where they were. And you jetpacked over. Spawn, rocket door, you're pretty pretty much already down. 
So you gotta just try to find a way back up to help out teammates. You go back to where you were and you saw where Rich was getting shot from earlier. I don't know where that guy came from, but it was a nice shot that you got off right before you died. Normally you probably check those hidden areas before you go out. But, you know, it's just unfortunate, that's all. See, like, the jetpack. Jetpack helps out a lot in this game, especially on this map. You can get up, you know, you can flank enemies from ways that most times they won't notice, so it's good. Right here, I don't know if I would have done that. If, after falling, I probably would have just stayed down on the ground or went back up the vent. Jetpacking over probably wasn't the best thing to do there. Probably just stay up in the vent. That's probably what I would have done, but it's all kind of, it's just different ways of everything. Here you spawn over by a big door. And you go down and help Sam, which is fine because you were already down on the floor and he could use some help right there. It looked like he was pretty weak. So, I mean, it's good that you went and helped him out. A lot of people would say don't ever go down there, but it's good that you did. Way to, way to notice this guy. If you were probably for the guy at balcony, you probably would have got hit in the back or something like that. Because I, I saw a guy spawn balcony earlier when you were looking up there. Health packs are really good. They help out, especially when shields are broken and one health bar is gone. Uh, way to get back up a top patrol, definitely. Always a good thing to have top patrol. Right here, he runs over this fan. Uh, really good place to be. Nice shots. Overall, this is a really good gameplay. Game over.